What is up, Fabrication Nation? Welcome back for the third day in a row, fourth day in a row. So, so I mean, every many days. Anyway, got some, got a little education for you today. No major fabrication. If you were along for the ride yesterday, we worked on the battery box. So yesterday we built this battery box for the goose. Little bead roll, some aircraft rivets. Nothing too crazy. One of the things that we did making that battery box is we used a sheet metal brake, which basically does straight bends. So my question is, what if you have to do a curved bend? A curved bend. What if you need a curved bend? May not be a question you ask very often because some people don't even know it's possible. But there is a way to make curved bends you know, if you need a flange that is curved on the same panel without cutting or welding or whatever, there's a way to do it and that's what I'm going to show you today. So when I say curved bend, this is what I mean. Now you could take with a brake and I could bend a straight piece, right? I could bend this flange up. But what if the flange needs to be curved? Like this line here. There's a way to do this. Obviously you can't do it in the brake because the brake would just come straight across here. There is a way to curve this, and that's what I'm about to show you. All right, the way to do this, it's gonna take two pieces of equipment, and these are probably not your average pieces of equipment, not probably something most of you would have in your shop, but I still wanna show you these things and so you know that they're possible and that maybe one day when you do invest in some of this kind of stuff, you understand what you can do with it. This is a bead roller. You've probably seen this thing on the channel a bunch of times. It will take this and the shrinker stretcher because we're gonna have to shrink some of this metal. Now, this is the thing. So we got the curve, curved flange going this way on this panel. This curved flange could actually go the other way as well. It's gonna be the same process here. The only difference is, is when it curves this way, we're gonna have to shrink some of the metal. If it curved this way, we'd have to stretch some of the metal. And you'll see and understand here in just a minute. So basically all you do on this particular piece your top die is what they call a tipping die style die. It's basically just a sharp edge. The bottom die is a flat, soft die. A lot of times people use skateboard wheels, that sort of thing. This is the one I've got. It's a rubber. It's really soft, probably a little too soft for this procedure, but I think it'll work. So let's just do this. Basically, what you want to do, you're just going to slide this thing in here, line it up on your mark. Give it just a little bit of tension. Then as you roll this thing through, you kind of want to lift up, okay? You're just going to follow that line the entire way. You can already see it's starting to bend a little bit. At least I think you can see. You can see it's starting to bend just a little bit. It's a slow process. It's going to take several passes. The next go around, you just give it a little bit more tension. As you can see, we got a little, little bit more bend on that one. A little bit more bend. Now what you'll see is the panel itself is starting to curve this way. And that's because this metal here 
is is basically you're bending it and it has nowhere to go. That's where the shrinker is going to come in. We're going to come back in here and shrink some of this and then it'll allow us to keep bending it. Do one more pass and we'll go over to the shrinker. All right, let's take it to the shrinker. We'll shrink some of this out. What will happen is when we shrink some of this out here, this panel will get flat again. And then maybe we'll come back and make a couple more passes on this bad boy. All right, this tool here is a shrinker stretcher. I did a Friday video on this thing not too long ago. And if you missed it, basically all it does is it has an upper and a, it has an upper and a lower die that clamp the metal. And as it clamps it, then it squeezes it together. Okay, and it just basically shrinks it through a process of just going, doing that over and over and over. It also has another set of dies that does just the opposite. It'll grab it, then stretch it, so it can do both. What I'm doing too, as I, as I shrink this, I'm kind of pushing on it a little bit, just to kind of bend it at that edge. All right, so you can see that edge is coming together, shrinking it, shrinking it up, and it's also making this panel flat again. See how it's doing that? Kind of see how that's working. All right, so once you get to this point, there's a couple things you can do. It really didn't need another pass on the bead roller. You can come in here with a handheld planishing hammer or a body hammer with a buck that's curved on the back. So basically it just lays in there like that and then you could just kind of pound it out, right? Or you can come in here with a pneumatic planishing hammer and just kind of really clean this whole edge up. Right now it's got some teeth marks in it, it's got a couple ripples in it. I could work it with this body hammer and get a lot of that out. 
Or if I had a pneumatic planishing hammer, I could really clean that up and it just looked like it was never even uh, massaged to begin with. So there you go. If you didn't know, now you know. How to make bends, in, a curved bend, in the same panel. Now you might ask, what would you use for this? Well, there's all kinds of things you could do. Um, you know, fenders, if you need like a fender or a piece that kind of wrapped around the top of a tire on the inside, and then you're gonna attach your fender to it, you'd need to roll that in there. Um, cow pieces, breathers, all kinds of stuff you could basically uh, use this technique to get the job done. Just trying to educate you on some of the equipment out there and the possibilities in hopes that maybe I can inspire you at some point to get out there and try some of this stuff yourself. As always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more this week. Go do work, son.